Social media went into overdrive this morning after social media sensation my TT real name for Listers Maata posted her nude photos online. She is certain that the violation was an act of revenge by her ex-husband. Name supplied and her former friend name supplied. While her ex-husband is purportedly in the US, Mami said that she has now informed authorities in Zimbabwe and the US of the cyberbullying and revenge porn infringement. In an interview with Chronicle Showbiz, my TT said that her ex-husband gave her former pal the nuts and that the two conspired to let the images and film get out. My ex-husband gave my nude photos to the only person who ever had them, name supplied. I've already reported them here in Zimbabwe and in the nations where they reside, said my TT. She said that her ex-husband was motivated by retaliation and was unaware of her former friend's motives for disclosing the nude photos. I'm not related to her in any way, former friend. I have no idea what she is battling. Because to the money he took and the fact that I put him on the wanted list, the ex-husband is seeking revenge because he knows he will never return to Zimbabwe. According to my TT, the naked photos of my TT that show her entirely nude appear to have been taken during a video call. My TT went live on Facebook this morning when the leak was discovered. And supporters were expecting her to confront the nudist. Instead, she promoted Father's Day apparel for a store in Harare. Many believed she was going to talk about leaked nude photos when she first became aggressive. Suggesting people should wait until their videos had 4,000 views before she addressed them. At the end of the video, my TT appeared to make reference to the nudist when she said, thank you for visiting. At least you have seen things about suits and apparel. My TT discussed the boutique when the video reached 4,000 views. I have no time for stupid tales. Life is too short to be searching for rumors. In search of resources and means of subsistence. Gossip is just for the wealthy. If you have someone else's stories, release them, not hang on to them, the speaker advised.